Hey you all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I go by Ree, so grab a cup of coffee, a little bit of tea, whatever your drink of choice is, and stay for a little while. Smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. We would love to have you be a part of our community. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your love and support. You know I don't take that lightly. So today we're jumping into a Zara unboxing slash haul. If you're following me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of these pieces, but if not, I got you covered. I know some of you guys were in my DMs on Instagram saying, Re, we miss you on YouTube. And I'm like, you know what? I, I, I feel you. YouTube is my first baby, my first love. Don't let me forget about YouTube. So I'm here, all right? Zara Hall, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this little box. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but when boxes come, it's like Christmas because I'm like, what did I order? <laughs> that's 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 not a good sign. That means you, you're doing too much. Or as the kids say, you're doing the most. Um, I always like Zara's packaging. I tell you guys that all the time. It just looks like Christmas. I love that they wrap things up just really nice and neat. Oh, this is what I bought. This is what I bought. Okay. So not much in this one. It is just, so it's a cardigan in gray. You guys know I have had this, I have really been into this minimal aesthetic in terms of my wardrobe. Everything is like black, white, gray, tan, brown with some hints of blue. Um, I always say never say never because I do still love color and I'm going to probably save that discussion for a whole nother video. But anyway, got a gray cardigan, uh, short sleeve. Y'all, I'm thinking now that I see this, I probably should have gotten a large in this. I don't know why I got an extra large. Anyway, the thing that I'm really excited about is this little skirt and I'm going to model it for you guys. I've been into these little schoolgirl skirts now this look a little shout okay so we gonna see okay let's get into the things that i already have unboxed um, from zara and i'm gonna do some mod shots of each of these pieces probably with the exception of these two because the other items i've already worn on no you know what i'm gonna do a mod shot of everything because it's only fair that you see how it looks okay so first is this skirt here and it's got like this little raw hem. I don't know, either you're into this or you're not. I kind of like the tattered and torn look. I'll pop the skirt on in a minute so you guys can see how it looks. But um, I like this skirt, but this did look a little shop. So we're gonna see. And I got it in a large. I got two blue shirts and they are super duper wrinkled. I don't know how they came this wrinkled from the factory, but anyway super wrinkled shirts. This is a short sleeve one and I wanted this one to have blue buttons. So I got one in a short sleeve and then I got one in long sleeve. And I know you're like, Reed, why do you need to? Totally different cut. And also you probably cannot see the fabric difference here on screen, but it is a bit of a difference in fabric. Um, this one is a little bit dressier, has a little bit more of a sheen to it. And this one is giving me more like casual vibes in terms of the sheen. Next up are these handbags. And y'all, don't laugh at me. I'm gonna show you the one that my daughters have already checked me on for real. But I'm actually really, the more I sit with this bag, the more I love it. Here is the bag. First off, you guys know I have an obsession with the color brown. I love brown. So here's the bag. My oldest daughter told me this bag was giving coffee filter with straps. That's what she said. That's what she said about my bag. This is suede. Um, I thought Zara did a really good job with this bag. Really, really impressed with um, the bag. However, when I ordered this bag, I will, I will be honest. The the picture online to me looked way bigger. And I am one of those people that I will order something and not look at the dimensions. 
because when the marketing team makes the bag look like it's a shoulder size bag, I'm believing the marketing team. <laughs> So this bag looked big to me, but I feel like I am also in my small bag era, and I'll say that maybe for another video, but I've been liking the small little petite bags. So you guys have to let me know what you think about this one. Now this bag, I was super excited about this one, but it's not the right color brown in my opinion. What do y'all think? And the more that I'm holding it up now in the light, it looks more of a, like a burgundy with some like darker kind of splotchy uneven tones in there. So I don't know. I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think about this one. It comes with this like clasp thing here on the side. Um, and oh, it's for keys. And I guess it could also be to like secure your bag to hold your bag shut. And it also comes off. This, this comes off. I don't know how I feel about that one. So this one is probably going to go back, but I'm really liking this one. You guys will have to let me know which do you prefer, the smaller one or the larger one. And I'm really in the market for a brown bag because, because I am. <laughs> Enough said. All right. Um, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this jacket, but this jacket is so soft and cozy. I'm not sure if Zara still has this in stock. They probably do, but super, super cute. I love the um, silver hardware on the jacket. Um, pockets here on the side, and then it also flaps open and has another pocket here separate. Um, it's a cropped jacket and I have been loving gray and have been rocking gray a lot lately. So when I found this, I was just like, okay, this is, this is a vibe. All right. So next up are these boots that I got. You guys have seen these before. I've worn them. Um, I really do like them. They're very comfortable. Let me tell you what my husband said. I was sharing this over on, I believe, TikTok. Do you guys remember back in the day, there were boots that were called high-tech boots? I think they were called high-tech boots. Yes, high-tech boots. My husband, when he saw these, that was the first thing he was reminded of. He thought they looked like high-tech boots, but they're combat boots. And they are quite comfortable. I love that they have an easy in and out zipper here. So even though you've got the... the um, <laughs> the boot lace here. I'm drawing a blank, y'all. Even though you have the shoelace here, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. You can literally just um, use the zipper for getting in and out, and I do. The only thing that I did is I have wide ankles, so once I put the boot on initially, um, straight from the factory, I had to loosen the string so that it would accommodate for my ankle size, but that was the only time that I bothered the string there. Other than that, I just slip in and out of it via the zipper here on the side. These boots are super comfortable. I think the leather, the quality of the leather on it is pretty good. One of the things that I will say though is these boots do have the tendency to um, rub off the color on the bottom. So if you have white carpet, do not walk on your carpet with these shoes. This is my warning to you because you're gonna see a little bit of color transfer from the sole of the shoe. I don't know why, I guess it's just the dye from the, from the shoe. So love these boots. Let me tell you what really, really had me excited about these boots. I was just so casually scrolling, strolling, scrolling, not scrolling. That's what we do on the internet. I was casually strolling through Nordstrom and I saw these boots and i got all excited y'all let me tell you i saw the price wrong have you ever looked at a shoe and saw i my husband was like cracking up laughing at me the boots were a thousand something dollars i thought they were a hundred and something i don't know how i missed one of the digits but i missed one of the digits and um i had the sales associate go and grab me the shoe and i was super excited and i just so happened to look at the boot one more time because the only thing that I didn't like was um, I was looking at the buckle on the side of the boot. You guys, the boots were Givenchy. Am I saying that right? Givenchy? 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 <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me get this right. 
I am Googling this because y'all are not going to make fun of me. I'm up here like Givenchy, my Southern self. Is it Givenchy? I think it's Givenchy. Givenchy. Let me see. Listen, this is not my job to know how to pr pronounce all of the fashion houses, but we're going we're gonna to get it right. Um, we're going to try to get it right. How do you pronounce it? Okay, you guys, I looked it up and it's Givenchy. Okay, Givenchy. <laughs> I don't wear Givenchy, Okay. I don't wear Givenchy or Givenchy, but anyway, um, I think my mom had a perfume back in the day that was Givenchy. So anyway, Givenchy, Givenchy. But anyway, the boots were Givenchy and I, I didn't like the buckle. I'm getting away from a lot of like flashy brands, right? So I was looking at the buckle on the side of the shoe or the branding on the side of the shoe and the sales associate was like, oh, you can remove that if you don't like it. If you're not big in, you, if you're not big on branding, you can just simply take that off. And I'm like, oh yeah. And I'm thinking branding, I'm like, what branding? And I look at the shoe again, y'all, the shoe was a thousand something dollars. Okay. So I was like, oh, and I, let me tell you what, I've come to this new phase in my life where I am not ashamed to be like, I can't, I don't want that. I can't afford that. Like put it back. <laughs> I don't need like, no, we're not, I'm not spending my money on that. And so I looked at the, um, the sales associate and she was a black female. It was a funny scene. And I felt so bad because I'm like, Lord, I have wasted this lady's time. And she probably was excited because I think at Nordstrom's you work off a commission. And she probably was like, I'm about to sell a thousand dollar pair of boots to this. this. She was going to have a little bit of commission. And I was like, um, I can't afford these boots. I was like, I don't, I'm not spending a thousand dollars on my feet. Like, I, no, I was like, I, I'm, I'm not buying these boots. And, and I was like, where are the regular people boots? And she was like, oh, you want to go over there? <laughs> she pointed across. She said, this is, um, what do they call it at Nordstrom's? This is, I think I was in boutique and I'm like, oh, I need to go where I need to go. And so it, she just kind of directed me to the, the little area that, you know, the, the, where the normal prices were. So I scrolled over there and long story short, I didn't see the boots, any boots that were similar to the, what is, what do we say? Givenchy. I didn't see any boots similar to the Givenchy boots. So I was like, me gonna go to Ziara. Okay. No, I went to Zara and, um, saw these boots in Zara and cha-ching. Now, one thing I will tell you, I don't know about your Zara, where you live. Some of you guys may have larger stores than us, but Zara is one of those stores, in my opinion, that yeah, you can go into the store and you'll see a few things here and there, but you need to go online. The online selection of things at Zara will blow your mind. So if you have a brick and mortar store, don't just, don't just stop at the brick and mortar store. Like you got to go online. Like there is a plethora of things. When I tell you, you are going to, I, how do you not see an entire collection? Like you can scroll for days on Zara and never get to the end of the website. You're never going to see all of their things. It is that much stuff. Okay. So go online when you're looking for pieces from Zara. Don't just stop at the store. You can go into the store for a little bit of like inspiration or if you're just a touchy feely type of person, but you got to go online. You got to go online. All right. Next is this black um, top and I haven't actually worn this yet, but I'm definitely going to wear her. I'm super excited. It's just a black shirt, but I, I, I'm like, I, the thing that I loved about this shirt was first it's black. <laughs> It's button up and it's short sleeve. And I know you're like, re whoop de doo but I've been really loving the boxy silhouettes here lately in fashion. I like to be comfortable and I feel like when you're in clothes that are not so tight, you can just be free, you know? And I've been looking for a black shirt that um, was from the women's collection just because I wanted it to have a certain fit. I've been wearing my husband's black shirt but it just, it doesn't have the right fit. So I really did like this one. Next up is this, what would you call this? I guess like a knitted vest. It's very, very um, kind of fine material, but it goes along with the cardigan. Where's the cardigan? It goes along with the cardigan that I showed you guys. 
it's the match to the cardigan. I'm probably, I'm not going to necessarily wear this together, but, um, I could see myself styling this with just like a, um, a collared shirt underneath or wearing it up under a blazer. And then the last thing I think that I have from Zara. Oh, hold on. Y'all hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the line. Y'all remember when your grandmama used to say that? Hold the line, honey. Y'all, the quality of this skirt is beyond me. Now, this is from the Zara Women's Collection. This skirt reminded me of a skirt that I saw on Frankie Shop. And the Frankie Shop, if you guys haven't gone on their website, their prices are kind of up there, very up there. And when I saw this skirt, I was like, okay, I'm, this is the one that I'm going to have to work into my wardrobe. The only difference, I believe, is the Frankie Shop skirt has two belt buckles. That seems to be a trend or a thing there. The two belt buckles. I I think that's cute, but I, I just wouldn't wear two belts. So I'm actually glad that I found this at Zara because the Frankie Shop skirt, I just... I would not have wanted the two belt buckles. Now I am known to alter my clothes here and there. So, you know, I would have been fine if I had gotten the Frankie shop one, removing one of the sets of uh, belt loops, but why pay that much money for a skirt to then have to alter it, right? So I was super excited when I found this. I had somebody y'all tell me that this skirt was too short for my age. This was too short of a skirt for my age. And I'm like, you know what? I will not be defined by my age. I'm gonna dress as I feel and just keep it moving. Now, I am gonna try to always make sure that I, I remain appropriate, right? Like I don't want to have my behind hanging out of shorts and have my boobs all out, but that's just my personal preference. Some women do that and that's, that's their prerogative, right? I'm not here to judge anybody. I just know that, you know, I'm going to dress and wear the things that feel good for me at 44. And I hope that you guys do the same. Like there should not be, there shouldn't be any rules as to, you know, when you get a certain age, you can't wear a little schoolgirl skirt. I really do like the skirt. I am going to style her up a little different in the fall and winter. I cannot wait. I've got so many different ideas. Ideas. I'm going to be wearing her with a blazer and just, I can't wait. I can't wait. So stay tuned in the fall because I'm going to be wearing the crap out of this skirt. Last little thing. This was another um, dress that somebody thought was too short. I wore it to church. I was feeling like it was a little short, but to kind of make up for that, I put on um, some really thick like tights with it. So I felt like I was kind of making up for the fact that it was short and then I've coupled it with a belt for those of you who saw that on Instagram, but you're going to always have people that, you know, feel inclined to have, like have their opinions and say what they want to say on the internet. And that's fine. I don't let any of that deter me from wearing and doing what feels good. Okay. All right, you guys, that is it for today's um, Zara haul slash unboxing. Let me know if there are any pieces that you are considering from Zara? Do you like Zara? And um, do you have a Zara in your area? I know some cities don't have a Zara. We only have one. I, I, I really do believe that we could stand to have two. Nashville is growing, growing, growing. And every single time I go to Zara, the line is ridiculously long like some days i'll go in there and the line is so long i'm like now nah, i'll have to come back another day and everybody in the line is looking you've seen the chick-fil-a lines right that is the zara line like most of the time i try to hit it at the right time which is like early in the morning while everybody's at work but zara lines are ridiculously long so let me know if you guys have a zara or do you just fr frequently i guess shop their store online which is not a bad thing because the online selection, like I said, is quite extensive. So if you haven't checked out Zara's pieces, you definitely should. I think they have some really good things. And if you're wanting more of their quality pieces, then I would definitely say check out the Zara women's collection. Um, I feel like they have some more premium fabrics and materials that they use. All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. Make your day beautiful. The choice is yours and I'll see you guys 
in the next one. Bye.